Hello everybody, it's Christy back with another video, and yes, it is that time of the month again. It is time to open the August Scrawler Box. So excited about this one. I got the correct box this month. Um, no October box again, which is exciting. So let's see what's inside and if it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to open this. Okay. We got some pens here. Ooh, we got some more pens. And a sticker. Okay. Let's get it all out. Scholar Box August 2021 Digital Dystopia. Okay. All right. We'll save that for a second. We have a little toffee chocolate here. The sticker is super cute. Here's the scholar zine. Oh, look at this piece of art. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm going to hold it flat so you guys can see it. That is so cool. Um, Caparso is the featured artist. There's their socials. And is a graffiti writer and member of Bandits Dresden, which is a graffiti crew in Germany. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. All right. So that's kind of the idea here. Very excited to see what all... We get to do with this box and we've got okay let's get this out of the way and let's talk about what's here okay so we have these look like oh these are boards so these are like illustrator boards of some kind De La Rowney mixed media art boards three pack okay cool there's three of them in here so that'll be fun we have a Derwent line maker in point three we have, ooh, my favorite, Signo. It's a broad Signo, so I think that's a 0.7 or 0.8 nib. Does it say 1.0 millimeter nib? So this is a chunky boy. This is a chunky, chunky pen. I love these, though, so I'm very excited about that. Then we have, okay, so we could have gotten three different colors of this line maker. We got the pink. Not sure how I feel about that with this color palette. Probably would have preferred the yellow, but we'll work with it. Is this just a regular line? This is just regular line work pen. This is not, Derwent makes paint pens that look very similar to this, so I wasn't sure. This is a vellum writer from Zig. I love everything Zig does, so let's see what we got. This end has a, a, a plastic nib. And this end has, oh, a nice, like, bullet nib. Okay. And then we have, oh, these are like acrylic pens, Molotow. So Molotow makes the um, liquid chrome pens that I love, love, love. So we've got a small nib, and I'm guessing a chonky nib. Yeah, small and chonky. So it's like a dual-ended Posca marker. And this really pretty blue... We have a black one, we have a green one. Okay, so this looks like a fun challenge. Let's go ahead and I think I'm probably gonna cut one of these in half for swatching, um, just because my daughter and I usually share our art supplies for these boxes. So I'll probably cut one of these boards in half for swatching, swatch everything out, and then figure out what kind of art piece we're gonna make. It's like, there we go, there's the camera for digital dystopia. Hmm. Excited about that one. Okay, stay tuned. Here come the swatches.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we're going to talk about the final piece and whether or not it was worth it. So first of all, um, I love how this turned out. I love it, love it, love it. I think it turned out exactly how I wanted. The prompt for this scholar challenge was digital dystopia, and I knew from the beginning that I wanted to draw a bunch of social media logos, not all of them, but just some of the ones I regularly use and kind of put ooze on them, just as a way to kind of identify that, like, I obviously love social media, but, like, also sometimes we can let it, like, you know, infest us if we uh, aren't careful and we don't check our emotions at the door. So 
I just think like there is always an ugly side of the internet and I just love drawing this. I thought it was such a cool piece. I love how it turned out. So anyway, this was great. Let's talk a little bit about each product. These pens, guys, like Molotow is a brand that I'm familiar with. Okay, so these Molotow markers, I own their masking fluid marker and I really like it. I also own their liquid chrome, a couple of their liquid chrome pens and they're really great. So I was really excited to try their version of an uh, acrylic paint marker and just wow, guys, wow. These are the best acrylic paint markers I've ever used. Sorry, Posca, these guys are better. I like them better for many reasons. The coverage was great. I didn't get any of the weird, sometimes with my Posca markers, especially on like a board like this, I get like weird spraying when I use it. I didn't get that at all with these. And they have two great nibs. They have a nice big chunky bullet nib that I could fill in big areas with quickly. And then they have a tinier nib that you could use for details. And it's all in one marker. You don't have two separate markers for that. So these were the star of the box. They were amazing. I loved them. I will use them all the time. And they aren't something that I have accessible to me. So that was exciting. I didn't use this pen as much as I thought that I would. But this is a really great um, vellum writer. It's archival ink. Um, I will use this a ton for my alcohol ink pictures, so I love it. It was definitely a value add for me because it's not something, again, that I own. On the other side, um, and not in a bad way, this is a great highlight. I, it gave me a chance to really make the ooze look cool, and um, I love the Unisigno broad gel pens. I have a ton of them. I always use them. I can always use another one, so I'm really happy to have this. If I had to say there was one negative in this box, it would be this guy. Um, not because it's a bad pen. It's a good pen, but you can't even really see the pink at all because I, unless I was going to use it over top of the white, it was not going to show up very nicely on anything that was an opaque paint marker. I think the thing that would have been just, holy crap, this box is already amazing, but what would have been really cool is if Derwent makes paint markers that are about the same size and they have the fine line nib it would have been really cool if this was a pink paint marker because then i would have been able to like actually put some pink ooze into this picture and like maybe some pink lines coming off of it and it would have been really neat so um especially if i had gotten the yellow one of these i would have been disappointed at least with pink and red i was able to like outline and you can kind of see where i outlined it around the ooze to kind of give it some depth and dimension but i would have been real disappointed if I had ended up with um, the yellow one for sure. So that was the only thing, in, but it's a fine liner and it's a good fine liner that I will use. All right, let's talk about the value of this box. Is it worth it? Oh my gosh, guys, first of all, when I saw the prices from Scrawlerbox, I was like, okay, Scrawlerbox, holy crap, this is an amazing value if you delivered it. If it's real, wow, okay? These being $6.90 each in the U in U.S. dollars, I was like, there's no way they're going to be that expensive for me. I bet I can get them cheaper. I was very wrong about that. These pens are very expensive for me to get, and the best I could do is $9, basically $8 more, eight and change more than what Scrawlerbox uh, estimated them at. And when you look at everything else here, the only thing I couldn't find a direct comparison for was the mixed media artboards from Dale Rowney, but... I used Crescent boards from Jerry's Artorama, same amount, um, and that, their price was $4.40, so this is definitely a fair price, but if I wanted to uh, use more mixed media boards, which I might because I really liked doing this piece, um, that's probably what I would get to replace them with. These were very, I wouldn't be surprised if it's almost the exact same mixed media artboard, the Crescent ones. So um, when I valued this box, the value was $47.75. The pens alone are almost as much maybe more than I paid for the box so like then you just have all the rest of it and it's an added bonus so this box was over $20 more value than what I paid for it holy wow scrawler box blew it out of the park this month I absolutely loved this box I thought it was so much fun um, and I'm just very very impressed and glad that I stuck with scrawler box because I really think I've been getting my money's worth a lot from them lately and uh, Sketchbox, uh, you better you better really wow me for Inktober, I'm saying, because I've been looking at some other things, and yeah, that's all I'm saying. But all right, well, I hope you really enjoyed this. I just love that this piece turned out so nice, 
and fun, and I hope that you had a good time being on the journey with me today. And thank you so much for watching. If you like everything, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Have a good one.